miles and miles of crystal deep. Kayaking is another way. 17 miles of paddling. Luckily, you only got to go one way. They'll pick you up on the other side of the island. See the kayakers there? That's only available in the uh, summer seasons, basically. It just started up about a, a month, about a month ago. So, spring, summer. It's the only time these waters will be calm enough for you. Kayak. Right here in front of us on the corner is Ke'e Beach. That is the end of the road on the north side of the island where the hike would start in Mount Kali. You want to hike the trail? The farthest you can legally hike without getting a permit is this valley, Hanakapiai. Hike all the way to the back of the valley. You'll find an 800 foot waterfall. You can swim at. Round trip hike. It's about four and a half to five hours. So pack lunch and bring a lot of water with you. Lots of people do it. John, you guys tried it already? You guys did? Thought so? Saw you nodding your head back there. Scale of 1 to 10, what do you rank that as far as difficulty? 10 being difficult. Uh, about a 6 or a 7. That's about what I put in, yeah. Gonna make a left turn here. We'll just take a quick look back at the coast and then we'll head for the North Shore. Sarah, that's the waterfall back there. You can see it. So if you have polarized lens there, uh, that, uh, that black spot there just offshore of the, the uh, breakwater, that's a school of fish right there. Have you felt the power of mountain craters throwing lava in the air? Or it's green swept that's the Napali coastline, and here comes the North Shore. This is where the surf happens in the winter seasons. It's huge out here. This past winter, the biggest waves came in was about uh, 29 feet, not bad. This, uh, sometimes we'll get some 50, 55 foot waves. That's monster waves. This area here on my right with these waves crashing on the reef, that's a famous surf spot called Tunnels. It was featured in a movie recently called Soul Surfer. It's a true life story of a little girl named Bethany Hamilton. She gets her arm bit off by the shark. That's where the shark attack took place in real life. This is where Pierce Brosnan lives, by the way. He's a full-time resident. Julia Roberts, she's got a place there. She comes often. She always gives me a call when she comes down. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, just as we pass this group of homes here, we head back into the mountains again. Have you seen these islands? I'm going to climb up to this mountain here first, so my front right side. It's called Namalukama. It is also known as a dragon because of the shape of the mountain. Whales remaining. You see it, uh, Sarah? I saw the disturbance in the water. I was like, that can't be. 
Haven't seen a whale for about a week now. <laughs> he ran away though. He heard us make a turn there, so. The humpbacks arrive here every winter season. They come here from Alaska. We stand together. Usually here between uh, November through through April, sometimes up to May, as you see. Not sure if he'll come back up there. Don't see him. All right, well. Climb up towards this mountain again. This is uh, actually shaped like a dragon. This is the tail of a dragon here. The tail will curl up, forms that point. That's the shoulder. Then the back comes back out of the cloud, forms a saddle shape area. The neck, head, and mouth. The middle ridge line is the arm. Do you guys know the name of this dragon here? You guys uh, remember the song Puff, the magic dragon? Some of you do. We live by the sea at the land of Hanalei. This is the town of Hanalei, featured in the song Puff. The magic dragon. Never really proven that that's a true story, but the author of the song was a very frequent visitor here in those days. In the town of Honolulu, we got all these crops that grow in water beds. They're called taro. That was the main food source for the Hawaiian people. Makes a food product called poi. You guys tried that before? Poi. Some of you have. You didn't like it very much, did you, uh, John? No? Yeah, most tourists don't. I personally grew up eating poi. It's a version of your mashed potatoes. I eat it all the time. Got a question for you. Yesterday when we were back at the beach back there, right up above us, there was a Hughes 500 that had a sling under it. It looked like he was carrying rocks. Do you have any idea what that would have been? Most likely trash. I know there's a, they're servicing the whole entire trail that goes to Kalalao. Uh, so the, uh, the uh, state employees that's been working on the trail uh, cleans up all their trash and all that, and then the helicopter will come and haul everything out for them. Waterfall back there, 2,400 feet high. It's called Namolokama. There's a place I recall not to be. That's, That's its average flow right there. When it's raining, though, a lot, all these will become all waterfalls. So it's really nice back here when it's raining. A simple life for me. My home looking for banished love to find a place that's better still. Now I know, I know I never will. on to Kauai, on the Leva Bay, why Lure River Valley, where I used to. Now in the Hanalei Valley, this is pretty much what most of Kauai is like, just mountains, valleys, rivers, lush, green land. Only about 10% of this island you can access using a vehicle, the rest of the 90%. This is the only way you'll see the island. 
Unless you're a really good hiker, of course. On the left side here, Sarah, if you look real good on these mountains, you start to notice there's a lot of dead trees out here. It is actually like this all over the island. This is the evidence of the hurricanes that we've been through in the past. Luckily, our last hurricane here was 20 years ago. The date of it was pretty interesting. It was September 11th. You see all the dead trees there on the right. Although the winds in this hurricane sustained 145 miles an hour. When it hit Kauai, the wind gauge clocked in at 227 miles an hour. That's the second highest recorded wind speed in the world. Just four miles an hour short of breaking the world record. We're gonna start to head towards the center of the island now. We're gonna head for this mountain range under this cloud layer called Waiale Ali. It was the main volcano that formed the island of Kauai. You can see the top of this mountain on an average for less than 10 days in a year. It'll rain up there about 350 days a year. This morning it was exposed. Now the clouds are starting to overcome it again. I'm going to take you into the crater of the mountain. It's not at the top like most people would imagine. Scientists said this island was about 10,000 feet tall once upon a time. The height today is 5,243 feet. This mountain was a very sacred mountain range to the Hawaiian people. They used to believe that their god lived at the top of this mountain, bringing down water for them. So the royal family built an altar up there, and they hiked there once a year. They the respects to their god. We are about to enter the heart of the island, the actual crater of Waiale Ali. Back here, I know it doesn't look wet at all right now, but this is known as the wettest spot on Earth. Because the average rainfall at the top of this mountain is 460 inches of rain per year. Back in 2006, 610 inches of rain. In 1981, almost 700 inches. So this mountain receives the highest average annual rainfall in the world. see all these lines coming down these walls here they're beautiful waterfalls when it's raining sometimes this whole wall at the back end of the crater that's one waterfall coming down Thank you. 